the, the fans around the world, wherever I go now to perform, um, our audiences are sort of like the youngest, 18, 19, 20, even younger. And what's happened, do you think, for you to become popular again, as if you were ever unpopular? But, oh, but what happened? Um, I personally think that the music has never died, because um, we've been working throughout um, these years. And um, I genuinely believe that during COVID, um, the most important thing that we have is our souls, and people were stressed. And the music that can bring you out of that dark place will always be um, helpful. And I think that's what happened. I think our songs were helping people to, to forget their worries and their struggles and all that we couldn't see, you know, the darkness that was in front yeah. of us in, during COVID. I think I'm right in saying that you're the uh, most successful black pop group in the world. This has been announced. <laughs> And this is quite interesting, um, based on the fact that it is coming from sales. Um, you know, we are, there were three of us uh, from England, uh, Marcia Barrett, myself and Maisie Williams. Bobby was from Holland. And um, we were never really celebrated um, in this country as a British, br as British kids, mm. let's say. And we weren't celebrated in Germany as German kids, because we were not Germans. And uh, because the music was crossing over, um, I think that somewhere along the line, it all got uh, a little bit muddled up and people don't know who we are, where we came from. There's no story about us, really. Oh, uh, well, <laughs> it's certainly part of my uh, musical youth, that's for sure. Which, which songs in particular did you enjoy performing most? I enjoy singing most of them, mm. to be honest with you. Brown Girl in the Ring is very oh, interesting. Oh, my favourite, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Many people like Brown Girl in the Ring and I get a lot of compliments. 